turn out to a swatting case making national headlines. A defendant in California sent sentenced to 20 years in prison for making phony 911 calls across the country. One of those calls leading to the deadly police shooting of an innocent man about 1,400 miles away. Here's ABC's Will Carr. Tonight, the man behind this prank 911 call. I shot him in the head and he's not breathing anymore. Sentenced today to 20 years behind bars after pleading guilty for a swatting prank that turned deadly. I already poured gasoline all over the house. I might just set it on fire. Tyler Barris has admitted to swatting, calling authorities and triggering SWAT teams across the country to surround the homes of unwitting victims. Walk this way! In 2017, Barris thought he was swatting the home of a video game rival after a fight over a bet for a dollar and 50 cents. But police swarmed Andrew Finch's home, an innocent man with no connection to the game. He was shot and killed by police who thought he was reaching for a gun. There are no words to express. The top is taken. Finch's family now wants the police department held accountable, while prosecutors in Kansas hope Barris's stiff sentence sends the message that swatting is no game. It's not a joke to swat other people. Swatting is a growing problem across the country. It can be a federal crime with a max penalty of life behind bars. Cecilia. Okay, Will, thank you.